Thursday, July 25th, 2024. Good morning, everybody. And I'm bright and early here. It is 7.30 in the morning. Got my truck started. Got my fresh pair of gloves. I'm ready for work. Turn the camera around, show you what I'm gonna do. Well, I need to get this firewood loaded onto the truck and I need to haul it to the house. So, because it is going to be a hot day, I got to get up early and I got to haul some wood. All right, let's get going. I need to start loading all this wood up and start putting it into the truck. So, I'll definitely take this whole row that you see right here that I started last week. So, I'll throw it into the truck and I'll haul it to the house. I knocked down this pile quite a bit, so I took the rest of this pile, there was half of it, and I started on this row, and it's all in the truck. Here it is. So, I just throw it on. It doesn't have to be stacked because I am going 100 meters, 150 meters to the house, and that's it. So look at this wood, nice and dry. It's nice breezy day today so when you work in the morning it's so much easier look at that no sun not yet and i already have the truck loaded okay let's take it away to the house okay so brought it into the carport here got to unload the wood and got to start stacking it up along the wall here all right there it is all unloaded here it is it's in the carport so it's gonna have to get stacked and i'm looking outside out here it's a bit of a breeze some brown clouds over there i don't see the sun coming up yet so i might as well keep working keep working away before it gets hot. So I'm gonna go see if I can get another load and bring it in. Okay, so we're gonna load up the second load here, but I don't think I'm gonna take everything because I don't wanna have too much firewood in the carport. And then if I fill the carport up, I won't have any room. So it's better to come back for an extra load than to throw wood on and haul it back so i'm going to start loading her up and probably take maybe half or three quarters of this row right here okay let's get going there it is another load very nice fur larch beautiful wood stacked on so i could probably take the rest of that but i'm not going to i just don't want to have too much in the carport and then it's kind of hard to move around as I'm stacking. Anyways, time to take this to the carport and let's unload it. Here's the next load and let's start unloading it. So we'll make this pile a little bit higher here and then I can start stacking it. And the sun did peek out a little bit about 10 minutes ago and then it went in behind the clouds. So that's perfect. And there's a bit of a breeze. So it's much easier to work than in the sun. All right, let's start unloading it. Well, there it is, all unloaded. And it's over here. I'm going to actually drive the truck away. And then we'll get a better look at what it looks like here in the carport. Okay, I drove the truck away. So we have a better look at what the pile <laughs> looks like. It's pretty big. I'm going to start stacking it. But I'm going to be stacking it in the basement. So I need to throw it downstairs and then I need to stack it up down there. And whatever is left will be stacked against the wall. All right, let's get going. Okay, so in our house we have a wood furnace. And the wood is being thrown in through that hole over there. So I need to stack this bin up all the way to the roof with wood 
and I will also have wood along here. So I can only throw down a few pieces, maybe, I don't know, 50, 60 pieces, and then I have to stack and basically start working my way up. And it will eventually get to the top. Where's the pile of wood? All gone. It's all downstairs, stacked. And I had to draw down from here. Uh, brought it into the house. So I still need to bring one for sure, maybe another half a truckload, one and a half. So I need to get it right up to this line and I need two rows. Let's go downstairs and I'll show you what it looks like downstairs. Here it is piled right to the roof what do we got one two three four five rows there and right here and over here and some over here so this is the inside so my 86 year old mother won't have to go outside as much to get the wood and if she needs to get wood in she can ask uh, my brother-in-law or neighbor to help her out. So all the wood is in her house. She just has to grab it and put it into the furnace. And there it is. It's all done in July. Well, there it is. All done. Time for a shower. Look at my arms. I look like a coal miner. Uh, let's see on this side. There. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of dirt going down a drain once I uh, take a shower. And I'm done for today. What time is it right now? Uh, it's about 1.30. So I started at 7.30 to 1.35. I don't know, six and a half hours. So let's recap it. I brought in uh, two, so I had to load up the truck twice hauled it here twice unloaded twice and basically started bringing it into the basement stacking it right up and i still had room and i didn't want to sweep the stairs so i figured i might as well get it all done so i started stealing from this pile here and drawing it down just so that tomorrow i don't have to I uh, walk down the stairs and then I got to sweep again. So it just makes no sense. So took from here, but only have to sweep the stairs once today. So all I have left is this right here. And I call this the kindergarten job. This is so easy. Don't have to go up and down the stairs, nothing. You just throw it off the truck and stack it up. All right, I got to go. Take care. Paka, paka.